Every week, there's a new AI launch and it's easy to feel lost. So I sat down, tested dozens of products and kept the 10 that make a real difference in daily work. It doesn't matter if you're a creator, student, freelancer or on a business, these tools shape hours of boring tasks and let you focus on the fun parts. Grab a notepad because I'll walk you through what each tool does and exactly how I use it. So I will tell you, don't grab a notepad and don't have a pen because I'm going to introduce you to a tool which will make your task much, much easier to make notes today. I know there's a lot of tool, but let me tell you the first favorite tool of mine and that is Google AI Studio. Open Google AI Studio in Chrome, click on the stream button and then tap on share screen. And from that moment, the tool sees whatever is on my display. Let's say you're using your phone to pay an electricity bill and a new pop-up asks for a setting you've never seen before. Instead of guessing, I simply ask, what does this option mean? Google AI Studio reads the screen in real time and replies with a clear explanation, then shows the button I need to tap. If I jump over to a Maps app or open a photo, the guidance follows instantly. It feels like a friendly tech-savvy friend sitting beside me, ready whenever something on screen is confusing. Tip, keep a headset on Voice commands feel faster than typing when you screen share. The second one is Notebook LM. Long PDFs used to scare me. Now I drag a 60 page market report into Notebook LM, wait a few seconds and start a chat. I'll ask, list three growth trends mentioned between pages 20 and 30. Notebook LM replies with bullet points and page numbers so I can verify. Now I will ask it to create a mind map for this document and here we go. The complete mind map of the document is generated. If a client sends meeting notes, I can ask what action items were assigned to the design team and get a clear checklist. It just doesn't end here. Now I'm converting this document into a podcast, a complete podcast style discussion between two people, which will make your life much, much easier. Watch this. Welcome to the deep dive. Yeah. You know, you've put together this uh, really comprehensive guide on personal branding for Instagram. It's called the ultimate personal branding. This is just something else. People can understand anything in a much better way. Well, this is going to be my go-to app to summarize every document and meetings I attend. Students love it for summarizing textbooks. I love it for skipping the skimming. My third favorite tool is Claude AI. Claude has a gift for picking up not just your writing style, but can help you with designing and creativity, business and strategy, live stuff and coding as well. Now let me start with writing and content creation and choose improve my writing style. And then I create my style and feed in my examples and references. I click on add writing style and paste the text here. It will analyze my writing style and create scripts on its own that aligns with my tone and the words I use in my writing. Now let's do one more analysis. I gave the tool a few scripts I wrote. After that, I prompted, draft a LinkedIn post about AI ethics in my style. Or you can even provide a few pointers as per the flow of your script and ask it to write it. The result used my favorite phrases, short sentences, and even the same humor beats. It felt like the future me had already done the work. For scripts, emails, or course material where your personal voice consistency matters, Claude is my silent host writer. A lot of top newsletter writers use this trick to stay up to date so quickly. Fourth one, Perplexity AI, Gemini, ChatGPT, and Grok AI. The search can eat an afternoon. To compare tools, I open four tabs, ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok AI, and Perplexity. I ask, what change in Instagram's April 2025 algorithm update? ChatGPT gives a nice essay. Gemini adds some Google links, but Perplexity shows a concise answer with number differences I can click. When speed and citation matter, perplexity wins. Gemini is improving fast, so is Grok AI. So I still keep it nearby, but perplexity remains my first stop for any blog post or client strategy, also for in-depth research and analysis. The fifth one is Emily AI. Think of Emily as a personal assistant for internet that makes your life easier. Let's say I open a long YouTube video. I just hit summarize and get a summarized version of this podcast in simple words. Let's say if you need a quote from this podcast, I can even ask or chat with this tool saying, find the line where the speaker mentions creator economy. Emily jumps to the timestamp and even transcribes a sentence. It does the same with articles, PDFs, and email threads. Great when you're catching up on industry news, but don't have an R to spare. Six is Gamma AI. This just blew my mind. Last month, our team needed a 55 slide deck for a project that we were working on. In Gamma, I typed, create a clean deck on AI-powered social media strategy. 
with a blue white theme within 5 minutes we had structured slides title problem solution case study pricing next steps fonts icons and image placeholders were already aligned we spent another 40 minutes swapping in our data and screenshots and the presentation was client ready a process that used to stretch over a week so here is one amazing hack for you let's say you research on perplexity on 10 ideas for cosmetologists instagram and then ask chat gpt to convert it into a beautiful slide presentation format with good title slide and conclusion and then we upload the output into chat gpt and ask it to prepare a presentation based on this research in 15 to 20 slides i then paste it to gamma ai and then just hit create the presentation with the data derived from chat gpt and it finally designed this amazing presentation in just fraction of minutes amazing isn't it seventh is 11 labs recording voice overs used to mean finding a quiet room praying that the neighbor's dog stayed silent and redoing takes now paste the script into 11 labs choose conversational mail and download a natural sounding track when i need my own voice i upload a 4 hours worth of my audio samples the clone handles future scripts with the same tone and pacing no studio no editor just two ai tools step 1 go to chat gpt type your fully detailed prompt here to generate the image listeners on instagram reels rarely notice it's synthetic well i use it on a regular basis also one more thing you can use any voice that you want for an ai avatar you start and you can use that for a faceless chat my favorite tool number 8 hagen hagen turns text into talking avatar i write a 60 second tutorial pick an avatar that looks like a friendly presenter and let hagen render the video the lip sync perfectly with the script no studio no editor just two ai tools step 1 go to chat gpt now here's under use case i feed my 5 minutes recorded version with 2 to 3 different costumes and background and store it inside this tool and then i can choose my 11 labs voice that i generated through the tool and add it here make sure your gesture doesn't come up until your face because then the ai won't be able to match movement if any distractions comes up like my hands so keep hand movements minimal do not show fingers when you want to list things out in your video This doesn't match according to words so keep it to less movements. This is perfect for quick product demos, course intros or daily tips when you don't want to be on camera. You see all these reels of mine? Trust me, I don't do the talking. Hagen does. By the way, this is a real me and not Hagen talking to you right now, but soon I'll upload Hagen generator for you maybe in my next YouTube video. Line this Opus Pro. Long recordings hide gold nuggets. I uploaded a 30 minute Zoom coaching session to Opus Pro. It scans the audio, finds high energy movements, adds caption and exports 10 vertical clips in under 10 minutes. Each clip comes with a suggested headline. All I do is review and post. If you are repurposing podcasts or webinars, this tool feels like having an assistant editor on standby. The final one, ChatGPT image generation plus O3 reasoning model. In my last video, I covered the basics. Today, let's push deeper with the O3 reasoning model. Let's say create a carousel image where a slide one is a bold headline, slide two shows a before and after product shot, slide three lists three benefit and clean icons. The output is here. Now, based on the output, you can again replay with a new set of iteration for each slide. Here is a pro tip: Chat GPT performs better when you give one instruction at a time. I have tried GPT 4.0 model for multiple use cases. It sometimes lacks in giving the app output because it does not do reasoning. and think beyond the prop whereas the gpt o3 model that is good at reasoning and logical and the result in this has outperformed my expectation and reasoning compared to all other gpt models each of these tools replaces a chunk of busy work scrolling menus reading long docs recording voice overs or trimming videos start with the one that solved today's headache maybe google ai studio for on screen guidance or notebook lm for research try it for a week and watch how much time you win back then add another tool to your stack let me know in the comments which tool you will try first and what task you hope it will fix and if you found value here subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss next week's video thanks for watching see you soon